we're going to skip forward to your life as a, uh, a negotiator. So um, we're going to skip past, you know, your career as a cheese merchant and as LEV sales personal assistant. And, uh, you know, you're making wine um, in the Loire. How were you received uh, when you kind of, you know, first tried to make inroads there and, you know, were, you know, an American woman uh, wanting to make Chenin Blanc in this, you know, decidedly kind of, parochial um, agricultural zone. Yeah, well, I have to say, like, I'm kind of mad at Burgundy and some parts of Bordeaux when I visit because there's a lot of snobbery. Um, a lot of Americans show up there that don't really know. But in the places like Loire or in the southwest in France, people are so kind and they're so delighted that you're interested in what they're doing. There's so much humility there. Um, when I was just really, really getting my both feet into the Loire Valley. I used to shop at Francois Chedin's wine store, oh, yeah. and I would look at all of the wines he'd carry, and he was really supportive of all these little tiny growers. And then I would go call up the grower, and I would go taste with them. So, but how am I received? It's you know, it's when I started this business. I'd been in the wine business so long, so people knew. And we started little by little. I had to upfront pay for my goods and all this. And now, you know, you just build that reputation. And if you pay your bills, everyone in France knows if you are a, pay a good payer or not. So <laughs> I pay my bills. So that's yeah, that's a, <laughs> so to some extent, you know, money talks and, you know, there's a universality to that that overcomes any reticence someone would have about dealing with, you know, an outsider. Exactly. And I speak French and I know how to make them laugh. Um, I, I picked up some of the uh, colloquialisms. Um, and yeah, we have a, it, I always have a good banter with my growers. Was there a patriarchy that 